Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a very different type of tutorial. I wanted to do something that was more, I guess, creative and not so much everyday wearable. So yeah, this is what um, I came up with. So yeah, very quickly before I get started on the video, I wanted to tell you guys about a website that I discovered through Holly Anna Ray, and it is Opinion Outpost. When I first heard her mention this website, I was a little skeptical because I was like, you know, most survey taking websites are basically a scam. They make you take a hundred, uh surveys and you don't get paid for anything so um this one is 100 percent legit you guys know and if you've been watching my videos for a while i don't talk about products that i don't like so if i don't like a product i will tell you guys straight up that i dislike it so the same goes with whatever I review. So this company, Opinion Outpost, contacted me and asked me if I would like to talk about them. I take surveys with them. So I have gotten paid about five times. You can get uh, your points cashed out for Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, PayPal account, and you can also do like iTunes gift cards. So what I have been doing is getting Amazon gift cards just because I find it more like useful, you know? So if I'm going to buy something on Amazon, I could put the gift card towards the total balance and save myself some money and hey you know i only do this when i'm bored so i will insert a snapshot of all the payments that i have received just to prove to you guys that i have gotten paid now if you are a gmail user they do have special promotions so the reason that um, they need people to take surveys is because research companies need your opinion. So TV uh, companies need your opinion, food companies, uh, beverage companies, even cosmetics companies. I have done surveys where I talk or, or where I evaluate certain stores and whatnot. So yeah, it's something that they need and that you can get paid for, you know, giving your they opinion. They do a quarterly price of $10,000. So yeah, signing up is entirely free. So I will put the link down below in the description bar. So just go and open the my description bar and all the information will be there. And uh, yeah, there will be a link to the website. You know, just sign up. It's entirely free. It doesn't hurt anyone to give it a try. You never know, you know, you might like it. I do this when I'm bored, you know. I take a, a couple surveys and hey, I get paid. So yeah, you guys, check it out once more. The link to Opinion Outpost yeah, is I down hope. below that you guys enjoy this very blinged out eyeliner tutorial. All right, so if you guys like what you see and would like to know how to recreate this look, please keep watching and we will get right into the tutorial. So I'm going to prime my lids with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. Alright, so today I'm going to be using this really pretty yellow pigment by MAC and it is called Ever Apply So it to Yellow. My very stained MAC 239 brush and yeah. So yeah, this is what it looks like. All 
Alright, so now I'm going to do a winged liner. And I'm going to apply on top of my winged liner these little, like, uh, I don't know, these little black jewels. And the liquid liner that I used is the Stila Waterproof Eyeliner in black. Yeah, intense black. And now what I'm going to do... Alright, so as you can see, I did a much more dramatic um, eyeliner because the jewels can uh, are a little bit uh, thicker than I would have originally done my eyeliner so they would just look crazy um, if I didn't make a thicker line but to adhere the jewels I'm going to be using my duo adhesive be placing them one by one I'm going to be placing the thicker ones on the center of the eye and then doing like little thin ones towards the end and the inner corner so okay so to make my life a lot easier i'm going to use a nail art dotting tool so um you can get these on amazon i got like a pack for like three dollars So you, the, what I'm doing is placing the glue And then first. I pick up the jewel and just pop it onto where I place the glue. Okay, so this is what I have. And I'm going to continue placing the large ones until the line gets thin on both the end and the inner corner. Alright, so now that I'm done applying the jewels to my winged liner, now I'm lining the bottom lash line into like more of a cat eye effect. So all, I, all I'm doing is connecting the corner, the inner corner. Now I'm going to stop there with the liquid liner for now and I'm going to use a pencil for the rest of the eye liner on the bottom lash line. Okay, so then I continue lining it 
with Perversion by Urban Decay. And then just make sure that it looks like it's connected to the outer uh, wing like that. So I think I'm going to uh, use this same liner for the waterline just because I feel like it's looking a little weird without anything in there. So I'm just going to line my waterline. Yeah, it looks much better now. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning out the edges. Just, just because I want everything to look sharp. And so now what I'm going to do is only apply outer lashes. So what I'm going to do is cut my eyelashes in half. Um, just because I don't think I can fit the whole lash band with the jewels okay so now I just gotta make sure that I place them as close to the lash line as possible Now I'm going to line my lips with Entertain Me Lip Liner by MAC, which is like an orange, well, it's basically an orange lip liner. And on top of that, I'm going to apply Sushi Kiss by MAC. Alright, so that is it for my uh, jeweled or blinged out eyeliner tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you liked this be, uh, being a little different, you know, so not like your everyday makeup look. If you have any video requests, leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!